Look what I found at Hallmark. It's like a single message communicator. Wouldn't it be cool if I could activate it with a switch? Like here, I have this little ribbon switch from AbleNet. Wonder if I could use it to activate it. Hey you, Boo, you are looking fine. Wow, it works. Doggy, Wouldn't it be cool if someone with a physical impairment that couldn't activate the switch by hitting it with their hand could use the ribbon switch with their chin or with their foot or other body part? Well, it's pretty simple, and I'm going to show you today how to do it in about 15 minutes. Now, I will stop the video throughout this and edit it just so you don't have to watch the whole 15 minutes. But let me show you how easy it is to adapt this $8 single message communicator from Hallmark. So first, I went ahead and started to remove the screws from the bottom. And here's a little trick. You may not have known, but the screws are actually hidden beyond this little rubber stopper. So I'll just go ahead and take that out and I'll remove my last switch screw. Body remove the other two. And now I'm just going to carefully flip it over and pull it apart. Now, be careful, you don't want to make sure things don't fall out. So here's my actual communication part. And then this was the big switch part. It's got some springs that actually help the switch bounce back. And I'm just going to put that aside. I don't really need it right now. Let's take a closer look at the actual switch on the communication device. So when I hit the big button, this little black button is what gets pushed down. So if I push it now, yeah. it talks. Now if you'll notice the switch itself actually has four little solder points. One here, here, here and here. To adapt it, I'll need to solder two points. So the question comes, where do I solder? Now my dad, the engineer, would have a cow because he would pull out his little voltmeter and figure out where the current and things are going. I'm a little lower tech than that and I'm going to show you how to do it with just a piece of wire. So I just have a little piece of solder here and I'm going to bend it to two points and now I'm going to experiment. So I'm going to touch first Try this too. Okay, so when they're side by side like this, doesn't work. If I do side by side this side, I bet it won't work either. I'm going to be careful I don't touch anything else on the circuit board because I don't want it to accidentally go off. Nothing. I'm going to try the two sides over here. Nothing. What if I catty cornered it? That's it. So I need to solder diagonally. I can solder from this point to that point to make it work. And I could also solder from these two points. Let's try these two points. Oops, my hand's in the way, sorry. So I just kind of experimented and I saw that it works best if I do it across point. So that's why I'll go ahead and solder. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you the results in just a minute. So I went ahead and soldered and I want to show you where I soldered again. I soldered one of my wires right here to the top left hand corner of my switch and one wire to the bottom right hand corner of my switch. Ready to test to see if it works? Let me go ahead and lay it down. So here is the other opposite end of my wire. I've just soldered the wire to a 1 8 mono audio adapter. And I'll have a link in the comments. So if you're interested in purchasing them, they're really inexpensive. And I'm going to plug in my ability switch. And for this example, let's see if it works, I'm going to use the AbleNet's ribbon switch. The switch is really easy to activate, you just bend the ribbon. You could do that with your chin, or your head, or even your foot. Let's give it a try. Hey you, Boo, you are looking fine. 
so it worked. So now, I now that I've tested and I know my switch adapting works, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. To make it a little more secure, I'm actually going to just tape using a little piece of electrical wire, the wire underneath the plate. So if the child does pull on the adapter, it's not going to pull my solder and undo it. Hopefully that'll help it last a little bit longer. But if it does break, I know how to fix it. There you go. So I've just taped it down there. You can see I put a little piece of tape to tape the actual wire onto the plastic. And now I can put a little notch in the bottom of the plate so the wire goes out towards it. Just use a pair of wire clippers. They do make a wire notching kit that you can purchase that will help make a little notch in your plastic. wires going out through there. I'll put the springs for the original switch back in place because the original switch should still work. We can actually test it to make sure it does. Yes. Just carefully stick the plate on top of the springs. This is a little bit tricky. Okay, and now I put my top need to make sure I line up my screw holes when I put it back on top. Okay, and I'll flip it over and put my screws back in. As you can see, I've reassembled it, got all the screws in, and we are good to go. We've finished adapting our single message communicator from Hallmark.